Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for December 3rd. As we're all aware, the parking lot trams have been gone since March of 2020 at Walt Disney World. But on Thursday night, the Disney Parks official Twitter account uh, noted that they will be returning to the Magic Kingdom later this month and to the rest of Walt Disney World throughout 2022. That's right, parking trams are back. This is, stop for a moment, this is, this is ridiculous, right? The fact that they're like, oh, we're going to bring it back at Magic Kingdom this month. And then sometime next year at the other, they're trams. And run them. Run the trams. I know they're, they're, they do have to retrain people and get certification back and all those things, but, but this is ridiculous. Like you, you bring back one tram, this is, this is the big announcement, uh, and then this big publicity stunt. I truly believe, again, like there was a lot of, especially after uh, Destination D23, there was a lot of pressure on them, um, given we noted that, and certainly other people did too, that they didn't mention the trams at all was the one thing they kind of danced around. This feels like Another knee-jerk decision, really. I'm, I'm just glad they're coming back. It's about time. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings are set to declare December 3rd Walt Disney World Day. For 50 years, Walt Disney World Resort has served as a beacon of hope and happiness in the central Florida area, bringing the beloved magic found across the resort to children and families in our neighboring communities. Disney said in a news release, according to local station News 6, following the proclamation at the Second Harvest Food Bank, Walt Disney World volunteers uh, will take part in a community service project, sorting and packing food alongside Walt Disney World leaders and local government officials to help support important causes that are making a difference in, uh, for children and families in the community. Walt Disney World transportation cast members were surprised to find their regular schedule scrambled with only five days notice right before the start of the holiday season. Cast members who wish to remain anonymous reported to us that management is attempting to reduce overtime to compensate for a new busing system rumored to cost around $80 million. The effort to avoid overtime comes at the expense of the bus drivers. The drivers who regularly were scheduled on the first shift have suddenly been given inconsistent hours with some forced to work third shift. Some of the cast members we spoke to noted that this abrupt change interferes with second jobs and child care arrangements, forcing them to scramble to rearrange their lives with Christmas just around the corner. Additionally, Director of Transportation Trevor Ocock has allegedly been abruptly transferred uh, to the Director of Casting Services as a result of these ongoing issues in the department. Cast members speculated that not all of their peers may be able to adjust their schedules on such short notice, which may lead to increased callouts and reduced transportation for guests during one of the busiest times of year. The hits just keep on coming. Guests are going to make a unique memory around Walt Disney World or in luck. The popular Super Zoom Magic Shots are now available at all four parks. The newest Super Zoom Magic Shot is at Epcot. You can get that by visiting the photographer's station just past the fountain near the main entrance, almost right next to the recently introduced Tiny World Magic Shot. Nearby photographers are also offering classic family photos and magic shots featuring some of your favorite Disney characters. Mobile Checkout is expanding to more merchandise locations at Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts after a uh, initial testing. Uh, the service launched at the Emporium in the Magic Kingdom already. We brought you that earlier in the week. But now we'll be launching in all four parks, the World of Disney at Disney Springs, Creation Shop at Epcot, Emporium at Magic Kingdom, and uh, which is new, and Mickey's of Hollywood at Hollywood Studios is coming soon, as well as Island Mercantile at Animal Kingdom. More stores at Disneyland Park and California Adventure have also just launched mobile checkout. That includes uh, Disney Clothiers, the China Closet, Plaza Point, and the Emporium on Main Street, Pioneer Mercantile and Bonanza Outfitters in Frontierland, the Star Trader in Tomorrowland, Elias and Company, Web Suppliers, and Nick's Knacks in DCA, as well as the World of Disney in the Downtown Disney District all now have the option. Merchandise Mobile Checkout is a convenient shopping option at select shops. It helps you save time by letting you scan and pay for your items right, when, uh, right from your phone. And when you're ready to shop, simply open the My Disney Experience or Disneyland app, scan the barcodes on your souvenirs as you add them to your bag, and once your shopping experience is complete, you show your purchase QR code and selected items to a cast member at the designated exit, and you're all set. If shopping with an eligible annual pass holder, Magic Key, or Disney Vacation Club discount, make sure your pass or membership is linked to your account and valid discount will be applied when you use mobile checkout. A new spirit jersey with a celebratory touch, perfect for New Year's Eve, uh, is now available at Walt Disney World. We found this pink and gold spirit jersey in the creation shop at Epcot. Who forgot that classic holiday song, Pink and Gold? Oh, silver and gold. The spirit jersey is light pink with a splatter of gold at the bottom. The Walt Disney World logo is in gold on the front. 
and the gold on the bottom resembles a paint splatter or confetti. Walt Disney World is also spelled out in gold on the back. We found Disneyland version of the jersey as well. They cost $74.99. A bumper crop, kids look it up, of 50th anniversary ID tags have come to Walt Disney World, but the latest edition is a major nostalgia trip. At the Tower Hotel Gifts at Hollywood Studios, a new tag takes fans on a journey through celebrations past with a collection of anniversary logos. Usually we don't talk about these, but I love this art. I want to talk about it. It has logos from the 1st, the 5th, the 10th, the 15th, the 20th, the 25th, remember the magic, 30th, 40th, 45th, and of course the 50th anniversaries of Walt Disney World. And even America on Parade is represented on this. Uh, it's super cool. This is great art. The rumor, the word on the street is this is uh, going to be the next uh, line of vault collection stuff. It's going to revolve around these logos. So knock on wood, we're hoping for it. That'd be great. Just last week, we announced Collie River Rapids was set to reopen on December 16th from refurbishment. But like we said, reopening dates can and do change, especially in this age of the Walt Disney Company. Refurbishment for Collie River Rapids, the fan favorite water ride, has been extended to January 3rd. It'll reopen on January 4th. Get ready to ring in the season with this new, uh, these new holiday donuts from Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew at Disney Springs. There are six holiday donuts, one filled with strawberry jelly, one with chocolate icing and sprinkles, and one with vanilla buttercream and sprinkles, and three with vanilla buttercream and sugar decorations. You can get all six for $28 in a holiday box. How cute. We tried the chocolate glaze with sprinkles, the wreath donut, and the gingerbread man donut, which is strawberry filled. Who remembers all your strawberry filled gingerbread men you had growing up? Read our full review at WDWNT.com. Four new holiday treats have debuted at Gasparilla Island Grill at the Grand Floridian, so we stopped by to try them out. First up, the Happy Holidays Cake Pop. It's triple chocolate cake pop enrobed in white chocolate with festive winter decor for $7.99. Next is the S'mores Cookie, which is graham cracker crumbles and chocolate chip cookie piled with toasted marshmallows and M&Ms. Costs $5.99. Following that, we have the Red Velvet Wreath Cupcake, which is a red velvet cupcake filled with cream cheese mousse and topped with a vanilla buttercream wreath and chocolate bow for $5.99. Finally, the Very Merry Minnie Mouse Cupcake is a chocolate cupcake filled with cookies and cream mousse and topped with ganache dipped buttercream, cookie ears, and a chocolate holiday bow. It costs $5.99. All these reviews at WDWNT.com. In just one month, 2022 will arrive, and Disneyland just received some of their first 2022 merchandise. For now, the collection includes apparel, a shot glass, sorry, toothpick holder, and a photo frame. You can head to our website to check them all out, DisneylandNewsToday.com. Following a flood that affected machinery, It's a Small World at Disneyland has been closed for an extra three weeks. It was already closed for the installation of the holiday overlay when this happened. Thankfully, crews have been working hard to get the classic attraction back up and running. And according to the Orange County Register, It's a Small World holiday is expected to reopen next week with that holiday overlay, which I will tell you is magnificent. It's a wonderful thing. 20 departments and over 75 cast members work to get the ride back open for Christmas. Quote, it literally takes a village and we've had to talk to almost everyone in that village in such a short amount of time, said ride system manager John, uh, Jason Tomlin. That's the exclamation mark on all of this. The scale of what we've done in such a short amount of time that's involved so many people. The eight foot deep maintenance room beneath the loading station was filled with water during the flood. And once the water was drained and the damage assessed, an industrial grade dehumidifier was lowered by crane into the loading area to remove moisture. Quote, we just opened up all the panels and turned on the dehumidifier for 48 hours, uh, said Joel Medina. It really dried out the space. The team then raced to get new parts amid shipping delays and finish a job that would usually take months. This involved reaching out to other It's a Small World attractions across the globe. Quote, we're reaching out to the other small worlds and other rides around the world at Disney parks and saying, hey, do you guys have this part and can you have it here by tomorrow? Small World equals Christmas at Disneyland. That theme really brought the team together towards a common goal. I know we talk about, you know, sometimes things are really sad and, and kind of depressing uh, in this day and age. This is one of the most uplifting things I have read on this show. The fact that these, these are the real heroes. These cast members are the people that legitimately make magic. This team took a disaster that really should have closed It's a Small World for months. And just a couple weeks later, they're going to open the holiday version. This is a wonderful, magnificent miracle. Uh, thanks to these people who work so hard. And thanks to other Disney Parks cast members around the world. This is, this is a great thing. Tickets are mostly unavailable for Disneyland Resort through the end of 2021. Magic Key tickets have also been sold out recently as park passes run out during the holidays. 
Tickets may occasionally become available again, but will likely sell out fast. And while, writing, uh, while reading this article, tickets became available for December 6th at $134. Keep checking back, but again, most of the rest of the year gone in Disneyland tickets. Fall at Disneyland brought some new food to the park. Recently, we headed to Frontierland to try out the seasonal items at Riverbell Terrace. When we arrived, we received uh, this menu with gorgeous artwork of the Mark Twain Riverboat. It's a beautiful menu. And we tried the warm pimento cheese dip for $10. It's served with artisan bread and marked vegetables. We also had the open-faced blackened catfish sandwich with candied bacon, heirloom tomato, and house-made tartar sauce, and house-made baked beans and potato bites for 26 bucks. Uh, for the season, they have the Country Cuban Sandwich, which is $22. It's pulled pork, country ham, Avardi cheese, and dill pickle with house-made baked beans, and again, those potato bites. And for dessert, they had two seasonal offerings. The Hummingbird Cake for 8 bucks has pineapple banana spice cake with cream cheese frosting and candied pecans. And we ended our meal with the seasonal monkey bread, which was cinnamon uh, sugar flavored for $9. A full review at DisneylandNewsToday.com. While the Christmas Fantasy Parade has returned this year, you could still catch a holiday cavalcade at Disneyland. The cavalcade starts on Main Street with Mickey leading the way in a horse-drawn carriage, uh, decorated in garland and holly. And Mickey and his friends are all dressed up for winter. Uh, you can watch this full cavalcade right here on our YouTube channel. And it features the now defunct, but my beloved, Disneyland Paris Christmas Parade music from years past. We call it the Mega Church music. That's what it kind of sounds like. Um, it's, I love it so much. So if you want to hear that soundtrack and check out the cavalcade, Watch it right here on our channel. We do also have that old Disneyland Paris Christmas parade here for you to watch, too. Make sure you watch that. It's a perfect thing to watch this time of year. All aboard! A new golden crossbody bag themed to the Disneyland Railroad is now available at Disney Clothiers at Disneyland. Gold bag has a circular design with the Disneyland Railroad logo on the front. The Disneyland Railroad logo is also printed on the lining and the inside of the bag. It's $44.99. I've never needed a purse before until now. The Lunar New Year Celebration and Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival are coming back next year. Lunar New Year will take place from January 21st through February 13th, and the California Adventure Food and Wine Festival will run from March 4th through April 26th. Lunar New Year is a joyous celebration that commemorates traditions of Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese cultures. The festival is filled with multicultural performances, special activities, culinary delights, beautiful decor, celebratory merchandise, and more. Um, this year also celebrates, or next year will celebrate the Year of the Tiger. Uh, so Tigger will join in on the fun, along with beloved Disney characters, including Mulan and Mushu, Mickey and Minnie, the Three Little Pigs, and more, all donning festive attire. Adding to the excitement this year, Raya from Walt Disney Animation Studios' Raya and the Last Dragon will be appearing for the first time ever. You'll be able to see Raya in a setting inspired by her native Kumandra, recreated in the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. The captivating Mulan's Lunar New Year procession will return as well. This bright and bold performance hosted by Mulan and her faithful dragon Mushu will feature dozens of spirited parade performers as they honor family, friendship, and the potential for a fortune-filled new year. Live musical entertainment will also be enjoyed at the Paradise Garden Bandstand. And the Sip and Savor Pass will be back for extra enjoyment as you taste your way through four Lunar New Year marketplaces, all featuring delicious Asian cuisine. There will also be special Lunar New Year food and beverage offerings at select dining locations in the park. And other cherished Lunar New Year traditions, including the Lucky Wishing Wall and the craft activities, will also be back. In 2022, family and friends will come together to get a taste of what they've been missing at the California Adventure Food and Wine Festival. You'll be able to explore California regions and neighborhoods in a number of ways, from delicious fare to vibrant entertainment, fun festival merchandise, and more. During the festival, you'll be able to taste your way through a dozen festival marketplaces that offer an assortment of mouth-watering bites and beverages for every palate. There'll also be the option, again, to purchase that Sip and Savor Pass. Complimentary culinary demonstrations with local celebrity and Disney chefs return as well on Saturdays and Sundays. And for those looking to enhance their experience, special signature events will also be available, including the Carthay Circle Winemaker Receptions and Wine, Beer, and Mixology Education and Tasting Seminars. Entertainment will fill the stages with live music from the, at the Pal uh, Palisade stage and the Paradise Gardens bandstand, visits with Chef Goofy and friends, and craft activities. Clint Barton and Kate Bishop are now starring in their own Hawkeye stunt show at Avengers Campus. In the show, Clint and Kate defend the headquarters from the tracksuit mafia while waiting for the rest of the team to arrive for a Christmas party. Of course, plenty of shenanigans ensue, including the creative use of many Christmas decorations as weapons. Watch the full performance right here on our channel. 
The Lion King Wishables arrived on Shop Disney and now at Disneyland Resort on Wednesday. We found them at the World of Disney. Young Simba is the wishable plush available outside the mystery bag. And one mystery bag contains one of the four possible characters, either Timon, Pumbaa, Nala, or Rafiki. It's a limited release series, so grab them while you can. We still haven't seen them at Walt Disney World yet. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Uh, visit WDWNT.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today here on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. From WDWNT, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the top stories in a quick, concise, and fun format. Then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the Parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on youtube.com forward slash WDWNT or watch episodes on demand anytime or subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.